Hello, Amber here from Blind Advice for Kids and Teens. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. Podcast, yay! So the video for my eye condition went over so well that I thought I would continue to do this auditorial overlap and we're still going to be talking about all things related to blindness. Feel free to ask questions or leave a comment down below. Today's topic is how to give a blind person directions. So I call these the where directions because I have a hard time interpreting where someone is gesturing to when they say things like, it's over that way, or just down there, or through that way. I understand that those directions are very common and they're often done subconsciously. If someone really knows what they're talking about, they'll just gesture and then they'll be done with it. The sighted person will then understand that, okay, it's over there. But a blind person needs a little bit more guidance and sometimes even average people need a little bit more guidance. I mean, come on now, who are we kidding? Does everybody know when Someone says, oh, it's over there. I mean, oftentimes you're going to have to ask another person, you know, if they know where this certain hall is or a bathroom is. I mean, not everybody can understand someone else's interpretation of directions. So here are two methods that you can use when encountering another person requesting directions. You can use compass directions to help give a more descriptive and directive path. For example, you can say, are you familiar with the compass directions? And if they say yes, then you can say, okay, go north 10 feet, then turn west and go three feet. You've arrived at your destination kind of reminds me of a GPS. If you are unaware of what compass directions are, here's a brief description of my interpretation of them. So basically, you are the compass. North is in front of you, south is behind you, west is to your left, and east is to your right. This can be very useful when traveling outside of your home. For more information on the compass directional system, please contact your local orientation and mobility specialist. So on to my personal favorite, clock directions. Yay! I think that clock directions are more specific and give you a better description of where something is in a room or on a table. If you are planning on using these directions to help someone find something on a table or in a room, you must first ask them if they are familiar with the clock system. And if they are, then you must proceed with, okay, the item that you're looking for is at 1 o'clock, or the item that you're looking for is at 8 o'clock. This method also helps when you're sitting down for the first time at an unfamiliar restaurant. For example, I visited a few restaurants where the waiter was very descriptive and helpful. He said that my mashed potatoes were at 8 o'clock, my meat of choice was at 5 o'clock, my vegetables were at 2 o'clock, and my sauce of choice was at 11 o'clock. And that was very helpful to me because the room was very dark and it was difficult for me to see. I hope this video has helped you get a better understanding on the importance of giving clear descriptive directions to anyone, really. And helped you acknowledge that even though your directions may seem clear to you, they may not always appear that way to others. So being kind and patient with others is the key to giving valuable directions. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want more videos. Also, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Blogger. See you next time. Bye!